What's up YouTube, it's the Gizmo Pro here. Today I'm reviewing Samsung's literally flashy Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. These are a premium pair of true wireless earbuds delivering 24-bit audio into your ears. Priced at $250, they compete with high-end Bluetooth earbuds from brands like Sony and Bose. Are they worth it? I've tested them. So here's my in-depth review. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click the bell notification icon to get all my latest videos. The case features a transparent lid, allowing you to see if the earbuds are inside. The case is still compact with a smooth, rounded design, making it easy to slip into a pocket or bag. The Galaxy Buds 3 Pro come in white or silver, not much of a color range. These are proper disco buds, thanks to the new blade lights on the each stem that flash during pairing and indicate charge status. You can even make them flash on demand, controlled through the app. It's quite funky at night, illuminating your head a bit. The lights also flash when using the Find My Earbuds feature, which is fantastic for locating them, especially if you've dropped them after a night out. These buds are super comfortable, even for extended wear, thanks to their lightweight design and various silicone tip sizes. They stay securely in your ears and are IP57 rated, suitable for dusty or moist environments, though Samsung advises against using them at the beach. Let's talk about the built-in LED light on the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, which is customizable. To activate this feature, simply open the Samsung wearable app and scroll down to the earbud controls. Traditionally, this is where you manage play and pause controls, but at the bottom, you'll find the earbud lights control. Remove both earbuds from the case, pinch the stem, and the lights will activate. Note that the LED lights will deactivate if the battery is below 30%. When activated, these lights stay on while in your ears, making them look very cool at night. You can choose from blinking or fade in and out effects. If you put the earbuds back in the case, the lights will deactivate, so pinch the stems again to reactivate before use. If you have a Samsung smartphone, like the Galaxy Z Flip 6, you get basic controls in the Bluetooth menu, such as battery check, auto switch to other devices, and active noise control action. The Samsung Galaxy wearable app offers even more customization, including equalizer settings, earbud fit test, touch control customization, and in-ear detection. You can also enable neck stretch reminders and use the Find My Earbuds feature. Samsung's adaptive active noise cancellation on the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro adjusts the effect based on your environment. The active noise cancellation is decent, effectively muffling most outdoor and indoor noises, though it struggles with loud sounds like traffic on the street. The app also offers an auto switch to ambient mode when voices are detected, which is useful if you often talk to yourself. It can also switch to transparency mode when sirens are detected, ensuring you're aware of your surroundings. Samsung uses a dual amp setup for the Pro model, with an independently controlled tweeter and woofer. There's an adaptive EQ feature that adjusts the audio based on your ear shape, though I didn't notice much difference. When paired with Samsung's latest smartphones, you can stream 24-bit audio at 96 kilohertz. With ultra high quality audio enabled, the output is excellent, comparable to other premium earbuds. I tested various genres and the audio was well balanced with clear details. Let's compare their mic pickup in both quiet and noisy conditions. The Galaxy Buds 3 Pro has the best mic pickup in noisy conditions, period. In quiet settings, they're all quite similar, but in noisy, windy scenarios, the Buds 3 Pro's noise gating is more effective. It filters out noise and wind cleanly, sounding less robotic than the Buds 2 Pro. The Galaxy Buds 3 Pro are great for calls on the move thanks to the AI-powered voice boosting and noise cancellation. Walking by a busy road, the AI cuts through background noise, keeping your calls clear. The Buzz 3 Pro also support 360 audio recording. In the sound quality and effects section, you'll see 360 audio for listening to surround sound content. To record 360 audio, go to the camera app, switch to video mode and enable 360 audio recording under advanced video options. 
Ensure the earbuds are paired with your phone and the microphones on the buds will capture 360 degree audio for your videos, providing an immersive playback experience. Now let's talk about sound quality. The Buds 3 Pro's two-speaker setup with planar magnetic tweeters provides better bass and mid separation. My initial impression was that sound quality improved, but after extended comparison with the Buds 2 Pro, the Buds 3 Pro are tuned for clarity rather than a rich sound. They emphasize higher mids without the sibilant spike of the Buds 2 Pro. Personally, I prefer the fuller tone of the Buds 2 Pro. The AirPods focus on clarity with a flatter sound signature while the Jabra's offer great separation and dynamic range. The Sony Buds have a fuller, richer sound and the Bose Buds have a darker signature. Now let's talk about battery life. Samsung claims 6 hours of playback with ANC on. I actually found it to be around 5 to 5.5 five hours with high quality audio streaming. Without active noise cancellation and ultra high quality audio, you can get closer to six and a half to seven hours, including the case you get around 24 hours of playback. The case charges via USB-C or wirelessly, including reverse wireless charging from a compatible phone. The Galaxy Buds 3 Pro compete with the higher end offerings from Bose and Sony. Priced at $249.99, they seem expensive at first, but when you consider the current pre-order offer from Samsung of $100 instant credit, they're a great deal. So, should you upgrade from the Buds 2 Pro to the Buds 3 Pro? The Buds 3 Pro are a significant improvement in active noise cancellation, mic pickup, and transparency. They also have a customizable graphic EQ. The new version feels more ergonomic and seals better. However, the squeeze gestures might shift the earbuds, requiring readjustment. Voice controls are available but not seamless. The blade lights are a nice touch and the case is a bit wider but thinner overall. I must also mention AI translation, which is a big plus. I personally prefer the Buds 3 Pro over the Buds 2 Pro. Now compared to the AirPods Pro 2, if you have an iPhone, get the AirPods. If you have a Samsung, get the Buds 3 Pro. They are not cross compatible for many features. The Buds 3 Pro have better mic pickup, clearer transparency, and a more snug fit. They're also more feature rich and customizable on Android. The AirPods Pro 2's fuller sound is a matter of personal preference. So what's the verdict? Well, I give two thumbs up for the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro. I really like their snazzy design, especially the blade lights, their decent battery life, excellent performance and customization options. They're also sweat and water resistant. However, they are pricey without Samsung's limited time only $100 disc instant credit pre-order offer. But I'd like to know what you think. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to support my channel and stay tuned for more in-depth hands-on comparisons. See you next time. Peace.